Well, if you're smiling, join the club. This is home video of a Merrimack girl battling cystic fibrosis. Hennick Fidget wears a vest to help shake off lung infections. Meanwhile, police officers and firefighters are shaking off the usual uniforms to prepare for the Chad Battle of the Badges. National Police Officer Mike Dory has been playing in the hockey match for Hannah, his Chad buddy, since she was three years old. He's not only considered her favorite hockey player, but is now like a member of her family. It was like fate that we met, and uh, it, it's been a great relationship. He's kind of like my uncle Mike. <laughs> the Chad Battle of the Badges is now less than a month away, and the relationships are timeless. Officer Dory joining us now live. Thanks for joining us. Coming Thanks in. for having me, Adam. So this is a really special game. It's been going on for almost a decade now. How did you first get involved? Uh, just word of mouth uh, through the state. A uh, few guys that used to work for the Nashville Police Department had spoken about it, and they didn't have tryouts at that time. Uh, the second year, they had tryouts, and I went and tried out, and I've been a, uh, a part of it ever since. It's an absolutely awesome cause. Uh, it's great for public servants, both police and fire alike, to actually get involved with kids, um, especially the kids of Chad. And uh, $1.4 million raised so far. You are the all-time leading fundraiser with $90,000. First of all, how do you raise that much money? I have a lot of good friends in the Nashua area and throughout the state who are more than willing to open up their pockets because they know it's a great cause. Um, there's a lot of people that I don't even know that donate to my webpage. Um, you know, uh, all the guys on both teams do an excellent, excellent job fundraising. Um, it, it just, again, it's just an amazing cause and to see all of the police and the fire people who come out even for the tryouts or even who make the team to put their time and effort in and go up to the Chad Hospital at the beginning, um, you know, and practice for months uh, prior to this game. Again, I can't believe it's almost a month away. And it's well, eye-opening to go to that hospital too and see what, what these little people are having to deal with such big health problems. Yeah, it's completely humbling um, to see what the staff there actually do on a day-to-day -day basis and see the level of care that the kids get and, you know, the attention that the parents and other siblings get as well. Um, I can't say enough about the Chad Hospital. How did you get connected with Hannah? Uh, so I had got a, a prize for each player uh, involved in the Battle of the Badges. It was uh, just a towel, and I wanted to have some numbers put on it. And um, I walked in to embroid me in Nashua and was asking if they would donate uh, some screen printing. And the woman behind the counter said, this is for the, the Chad Hospital. And I said, yes. And she pointed to a picture behind her. And it was actually Hannah. And she said, that's my granddaughter. She's a Chad patient. So I gave her my card and said I would be interested. We were instituting the Chad Buddy Program. And I would be interested in meeting her and her family if, if they wanted to do that. And they did. And the rest is history. We have you know dinner at the house. Um, we make plans to go out together. Uh, it, it's just a great relationship. I, I've been blessed to, you know, to have met people like that in my life. And, to be in the job that I'm in and the guys that I play with um, for this cause, uh, you know, we all have stories to share, and it, it's just it's just great. Yeah, the quality of the hockey is actually pretty good. Not surprisingly, it's a, it's a physical job, police and fire, and a lot of former hockey players are I involved. Absolutely. Like I said, this tryout, uh, some people unfortunately do get turned away. Uh, we do have alternates, but, yeah, the level of hockey is, is great, and uh, the fans love it. We played in front of 8,000 people last year, and we're hoping to have a sellout this year. I mean, 9,500 people would right. be great. It's not too much farther away until you guys can fill up the whole thing. Right. All right. Officer Mike Dory, thanks so much for what you do and uh, for being involved in this cause and uh, coming to speak to us. Thank much you very much, Adam. All right. And the ninth annual Battle of the Badges takes place April 2nd. The puck drops at 5 p.m. at Manchester's Verizon Wireless Arena. This annual fundraising event supports vital programs and services at Chad, the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth-Hitchcock. The tickets are $10 and kids five and under are free. Get your tickets at chadhockey.org and make sure to wear your red or blue to cheer for Team Fire or Team Police.